The year was 1518, and the city of Strasbourg, nestled within the Holy Roman Empire, was about to witness one of the most bizarre and unsettling events in history. It began on a warm July day when Madame Trophea, an ordinary resident, stepped onto the street and began dancing. There was no music, no celebration, just an inexplicable compulsion to dance. As days passed, Madame Trophea's solo performance turned into a spectacle. Her feet moved tirelessly, and her energy seemed boundless. The city's residents watched in a mix of awe and concern. But soon, this wasn't just Madame Trophea's plight. Like a contagion, the urge to dance spread. By the week's end, dozens had joined her, and within a month, the streets were a chaotic dance floor with over 400 individuals swaying, jumping, and twirling. The scene was both captivating and horrifying. People danced until they dropped. Exhaustion, dehydration, and even death claimed some, but the dance went on. Physicians of the time, perplexed, chalked it up to hot blood and suggested more dancing as the remedy. In a bid to alleviate the situation, the city's officials set up stages, brought in musicians, and even hired professional dancers, thinking that rhythmic beats might cure this mysterious ailment. But what was behind this enigmatic event? Theories have swirled for centuries. Some historians point to ergot poisoning, a result of consuming fungus-infected rye bread. This fungus can induce hallucinations, painful contortions, and a sensation of burning in the limbs. Others believe it was mass hysteria, a collective psychological breakdown, perhaps triggered by the immense strain of the hardships the city faced, from famines to diseases. Religious beliefs added another layer to the interpretations. Many thought they were witnessing the wrath of St. Vitus, the patron saint of dance and epilepsy. In a desperate bid for a solution, some dancers were carted off to the shrine of St. Vitus to pray, seek penance, and hopefully find a cure. As summer gave way to autumn, the dancing began to subside. The stages were dismantled, the musicians packed up, and the dancers, exhausted and bewildered, tried to pick up the pieces of their lives. The city, too, tried to move on, but the memories of that haunting summer remained etched in its history. Today, the dancing plague of 1518 stands as a testament to the mysteries of the human mind and the intricate interplay of societal pressures, health, and belief systems. It serves as a haunting reminder of the unpredictability of life and the enigmas that can emerge from the depths of human psyche. Like, share, and subscribe for your day dose of history and trivia at Histrivia.